Everyone knows this guy. This is the giraffe. Everybody knows him. Everybody loves him. But did you know that the giraffe has a cousin that lives in Africa? It's pretty unusual, it's pretty amazing, and it's the newest resident here at the Sacramento Zoo, so let's go have a look. For those of you who might remember, a few months ago I reported that new animals were coming to the Sacramento Zoo. And, well, and a little bit ago, they opened up the exhibit to these amazing animals. If you remember what those animals are, you're in for a treat. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's go have a look. This is the Akapi. This is the newest resident of the Sacramento Zoo in this brand new enclosure. We're gonna go have a better look. This exhibit is the home of the Akapi, the newest resident here at the Sacramento Zoo and the only living relative of the giraffe. They don't seem like they would be relatives, but they do share several common factors. Their ears are similar to the giraffe. The osicones that are on the top of the male's heads are the same as giraffes, and they also have very long purple tongues, just like giraffes. Native to the Democratic Republic of Congo, when f stories first started to circulate of the Akapi, they weren't, nobody was really sure that this was a real animal. It sounded too unusual. It had stripes like a zebra. It had the body of an antelope and the head of a giraffe. So when they were first discovered, they really amazed the scientific community. Like zebras, the stripe patterns on the flanks of an okapi are unique to every single individual. And it's also known as a follow me pattern because of the low light conditions of their very dense tropical home. This exhibit was the largest expansion to the Sacramento Zoo in quite some time, and the first time that they brought in a large animal that was totally new to the zoo. I'm not talking like bringing in a new giraffe or a new zebra or anything, but a totally new animal and a totally new exhibit, and I love it. They have done a very good job, and this shows their commitment to bringing awareness and to helping with the conservation of amazing animals all over the world. And I should say that this is the only zoo in Northern California where you can see the Akapi. Otherwise, you'll have to go all the way to LA or San Diego. How's it going, everyone? I gave you guys an update on the Sacramento Zoo, and I figured it's such a beautiful day today. We're gonna come out to the Mickey Grove Zoo and give you an update of some exciting new things that might be happening here in the near future. So first off, this area here, which is just past where the Madagascar islands in time exhibit with all the lemurs are and the uh, the black parrots are over there so it's just a little bit past this has been marked for the construction of a brand new exhibit for gibbons to return to the Mickey Grove Zoo they used to have gibbons here they are they were in the enclosure that currently uh, houses the FUSA um, there's no word yet on when this is going to start but they have everything pretty well marked out and then right next to that, this is brand new since the last time I was here. <clears throat> they've made a new cool little playground for the kiddos to expend some energy on. They've also added some new trees, redid the landscaping over here a little bit. So I can't get a really good view through the fence, but this is going to be where the new state-of-the-art snow leopard habitat is going to be. And that building is new since the last time I was here. I'll put a link to the old video, the first video I did here, down in the description. But it'll be really interesting to see what they do. Maybe we can get a look through. Here, it looks like they have some path work done. Some fencing is up. No word on when this is going to be complete, but um, I know they're working really hard to get this exhibit up and running because this is going to be huge in getting the Mickey Grove Zoo re-accredited with the AZA or the Association of Zoos and Aquariums and that would be huge for this little zoo in terms of um, additional funding, getting animals here. Um, so since we're at the Snow Leopard, the current exhibit which I actually think is fantastic. Not sure where the Snow Leopard is. Somewhere taking a nap I'm sure. But as soon as the snow leopard habitat across the way is open. Rumor has it that they are working on getting a pair of Amur leopards, which are critically endangered big cats from Siberia, and they will call this exhibit home. That would be 
amazing because there are very few zoos in the United States that currently house Amur leopards. And they would be the, this would be the only zoo, little tiny Mickey Grove Zoo would be the only zoo in Northern California to have Amur leopards if all goes according to plan. So my fingers are crossed. This is a better view of that new playground coming through the island in time. While we're here, lemurs are out, so let's take a look. Our red rough lemurs. Ring-tailed lemur. And they've also done, they've added some new stuff in here. New netting, new logs, new trees for the lemurs to climb on. They seem to be pretty happy with it, so it's awesome. So the other big rumor going around right now with the Mickey Grove Zoo has to do with this habitat right here. It's tented over because there are birds in it right now and they actually... Okay, so they have some of the Madagascar black parrots in here it looks like. But, believe it or not, this used to be a sea lion pool. I'll see if I can find a picture of that and I'll put it in here right now. Camera noise. So, the sea lions had to move out for various reasons. Um, but they want to, t uh, to retrofit and expand this exhibit a little bit. And they want to bring in some sort of bear. Um, when I was little, there were bears at the zoo. There was a polar bear, there was a black bear. But the exhibits weren't up to par, so they did the right thing and had those animals move on. But the plan is to bring some sort of bear here once they do a little bit of work to the, to the current footprint of this uh, exhibit, which would be very exciting. So just for reference, this is the Fusa habitat, and this is where um, Gibbons once called home. So once they're back here, they will get brand new digs. They're not going to kick the Fusa out. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that'll get going here soon. So that was a quick update from here at the Mickey Grove Zoo. Um, a lot of exciting changes are going to be happening. This is the zoo is, has a very special place in my heart. I spent a lot of time here as a child, and so did a lot of uh, kids that grew up in the Central Valley. So the Stoughton and Lodi um, area. This is this is important to us, and it really makes me happy that they're trying to improve this place so much and trying to get their AZA accreditation back. That'll be huge for this zoo. So I'll put a link to their website so you can see how you can support this zoo. Maybe help them out if you can. Um, links to the social media is all in the description below. This is Zach, and as always, have a wild day, everyone.